Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is Ori Bloop. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Um, today we have uh, a tutorial on building a treasure chest and when we run into the treasure chest, it will go ahead and break and it will drop like, you know, items basically. Um, for this tutorial, we'll, we're going to only be dropping one item, but you can uh, make it so that it drops multiple items but let's go ahead and uh get started so um i set up a third person camera here uh if you don't know how to do this uh in the top right you're gonna see a uh a six camera tutorial and that will show you how to build this but if we look in the game we have a perfect third person camera so uh what we're gonna do now is make the actual treasure chest so uh go to objects fancy objects rectangular and uh, get our treasure chest out. So for our treasure chest, um, we're gonna not make this movable and we're gonna have everything selected just as is. So if we go in the game, uh, we have our treasure chest and if we go up to it, nothing will happen. So what we want to happen is when we um, hit it or when we go up to it, it will break and um, it will drop, you know, tons of different items. So. Uh, what we need first is objects, sensors, and grab our touch sensor. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just hook that up to the treasure chest. Except uh, if we look in the game, our touch sensor is like right on the uh, hitbox for the treasure chest. And uh, you actually won't be able to touch the touch sensor. So what we need to do is we're going to make this um, a little bigger. So we're going to, uh, for the X1, for Y1, and Z will equal 1. And uh, for check what, we're going to go ahead and check the person. And uh, that should be it for right now. So if we go in the game, now it's surrounding the box and we can touch the box from any direction. Uh, but right now it still doesn't do anything. So uh, what we need to do now is go to objects uh, and launch destroy attract. We're going to grab our destroy object. So uh, this box is going to be uh, destroyed. And we can attach the destroy object straight to our uh, treasure chest. So if we go in the settings, we just have to destroy what, uh, make it to treasure chest. And uh, so the treasure chest just gets destroyed. We need to do destructible and uh, to destroy object. Uh, so if we go ahead and look in game now, we can go around. And if we touch the touch sensor, our object is destroyed. Uh, but it, we don't get anything from it. So we need to go ahead and make it so that we get stuff from it. So if we go back into the edit, uh, we're going to now grab our program layout and wormhole entrance, and we're going to grab our wormhole exit. So uh, if we go ahead and attach our uh, wormhole entrance to our touch sensor, basically what's happening is when our person touches the touch sensor, it will give an output and it will give that output to the entrance and it will uh, give it to our exit. So with our exit is gonna be our main uh, teleporting uh, system. So go to objects, launch, destroy, attract, and then teleport object entrance and we're gonna grab the exit as well. So we can put our exit over here for right now, uh, but we can go ahead and just attach this uh, straight to the um, entrance right here and what that is is we're getting the uh input from this or i mean the output from this and it's coming through the entrance through the exit and right here and we can go ahead and get out uh the object that we want so if we destroy the chest it's going to drop an apple so we're going to go ahead and grab a simple apple we're going to make it really small just like that and we can go ahead and connect it straight to our uh entrance and if we go into the properties of the apple um i don't think we need to change anything yeah i don't think we need to change anything in here um but basically we can't connect our teleport object exit straight to the treasure chest because it's being destroyed so that means that our apple will be destroyed as well i'll show that real quick so if we connect our exit straight to the treasure chest if we go ahead and look in the game and uh go up to our treasure chest uh, our apple does not, oh, that's because we need to, in our teleport entrance, don't forget to teleport what, and it's going to teleport the, uh, apple. 
But if we go ahead and look in the game, we can go ahead and see that if we go, it, our apple will also be destroyed because it's destroying the chest as well. Um, so the way to fix that is uh, basically we need a separate box that's not going to be destroyed and it will teleport the apple there. So what we're going to do is go to objects, uh, simple objects box, and we're going to make like a really, really tiny little uh, box right here on the bottom of the treasure chest. And uh, we can turn off pretty much all these. Yeah, you can turn off pretty much all of them because it's not going to be visible or anything. And um, for the Z, we'll also make that uh, 0.10 as well. And we can go ahead and connect that straight to our uh, teleport object exit. And um, also, I want to make the apple just a little bit tiny bigger because it was it, it's pretty small, actually. But uh, that should be the system right there. So if we go ahead and look in the game, we have our treasure chest. Um, you're going to want to hide the apple, of course, because we don't want it to see it, you know. But if we go ahead and go up to the treasure chest, boom, our apple is right there, um, ready for us to grab. Um, you could do this with pretty much any type of item. Uh, I'll show it one more time. If we go up to the treasure chest and touch it, uh, it gives us our apple. Um, and we're going to actually move those invisible boxes out of the way because those get annoying. So uh, make that invisible for the touch sensor and make that invisible. And then for our teleport object, uh, invisible. And this is going to be invisible. And I, I don't think the Apple has one. Let me check. Yes, it does. So make that invisible as well. So if we go in the game. Uh, we don't see any of those white boxes. And if we go up to the uh, treasure chest. Oh, it looks like our. Oh, because I made the apple invisible. So you want to keep the apple visible. Um, so if we go in the game, uh, there's our apple over there. And if we go ahead and touch the box, boom, there it is. And of course, since we have the wormhole um, objects, we can move this uh, treasure chest anywhere we want to so if we have it all the way over here it will still function so uh let me see where it is oh, okay so there's the treasure chest it's floating a little bit you can move it all the way down to the ground if you want but um if we go up to it there's our apple so it works uh pretty much anywhere let me go ahead and just move this down to the ground um just to show yeah so yeah there it's all the way on the ground now um, but that's pretty much it for the tutorial. You can connect, uh, this teleport object entrance, uh, anywhere you pretty much want to. Uh, and if you want to as well, you can go to, uh, objects, special objects, effects, and you could add an effect if you want to. So I'll add like, for instance, party popper. Um, so when the object is destroyed from the touch sensor we can go and apply that right there too uh and also we can probably apply it to the uh treasure chest as well if we change it not from camera but to world what that should do is if we go up to the treasure chest it should uh play that little animation let me go ahead and see yeah there we go so it played the little um party popper animation and we have our apple right there too um, and we can, of course, turn uh, visible off and make that so it doesn't show. And we have our uh, perfect treasure chest just like that. Um, so hopefully, guys, this uh, tutorial helped. I know it was a little bit um, quick, but uh, if you guys enjoyed it, uh, make sure uh, to leave a like if you want to. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I'm just going to do this one more time with the party popper being big. Yeah, that looks awesome. Uh, yep, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll catch you guys in another tutorial. Uh, thank you.